everyone. Our lesson for today is all about dividing simple fractions and whole numbers by a fraction and vice versa. First is we're going to discuss about dividing simple fraction by a fraction. In dividing simple fraction by a fraction, get the reciprocal of the divisor, proceed to multiplication of fractions, then reduce your answer to lowest term whenever possible. To understand our steps, let's try to answer some examples. Number one, three fourths divided by one half. Okay, to get the quotient of these two fractions, our rule said that we're going to get the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to multiplication. 3 point is the dividend and 1 half is the divisor, so we're going to get the reciprocal of 1 half. That is equal to 2 over 1, and we're going to proceed to multiplication. So, 3 times 2, the answer is equal to 6. 4 times 1, the answer is equal to 4. And we're going to reduce this one to its lowest term. We're going to divide it by 2, by 2. 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3. 4 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 2. What kind of fraction is 3 over 2? Yes, it is an improper fraction. To reduce improper fraction to its lowest term, divide the numerator by the denominator. 3 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 1. 1 times 2, is the answer is equal to 2. 3 minus 2, the answer is equal to 1. 1 our remainder, we're going to take this one as our numerator, and to the divisor, we're going to take this one as our denominator. So 3 over 2, this is equal to 1 and 1 half. We're going to divide 3 fourths divided by 1 half, the answer is equal to 1 and 1 half. Okay, next example. 3 fifths divided by 1 fourth. Okay, we're going to use the other way of getting the quotient of two simple fractions. We're going to use the cross multiplication. Okay, yes, we're going to cross multiply. Just multiply 3 times 4, the answer is equal to 12. Then the denominator, just multiply 5 times 1, the answer is equal to 5. So, our quotient now is equal to 12 over 5. What kind of fraction is 12 over 5? Yes, it is an improper fraction. To reduce improper fraction to its lowest term, just divide the numerator by the denominator. So, 12 divided by 5. 12 divided by 5, the answer is equal to 2. 2 times 5, the answer is equal to 10. 12 minus 10, the answer is equal to 2. Okay, this remainder 2, we're going to take this one as our numerator. And this 5, we're going to take this one as our denominator. So, 12 over 5, the lowest term is equal to 2 and 2 B. This is our final answer. Next is dividing whole number by a fraction and vice versa. In dividing whole number by a fraction and vice versa, first is put a denominator of 1 to the whole number. Second, get the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to multiplication. Third, reduce your answer to lowest term whenever possible. To understand our steps, let's try to answer some examples. 5 divided by 2 thirds. The step said that we're going to put a denominator of 1 to our whole number. 5 is a whole number, so we're going to put a denominator of 1. Then get the reciprocal of the divisor. So what is the reciprocal of 2 thirds? That is 3 over 2 or 3 halves. Then proceed to multiplication. Okay? 
5 times 3, the answer is equal to 15. 1 times 2, the answer is equal to 2. This is our denominator. What kind of fraction is 15 halves? Okay, yes, it is an improper fraction. To reduce improper fraction to its lowest term, just divide the numerator by the denominator. 15 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 7. 7 times 2 is equal to 14. And 15 minus 14, the answer is equal to 1. This remainder 1, we're going to take this one as our numerator. And this 2, we're going to take this one as our denominator. So, 15 halves is equal to 7, 1, Okay, let's try another example. 8 divided by 3 fourths. Okay, we're going to put a denominator of 1 to our whole number. Any whole number, there's always a denominator of 1. Okay, then this time we're not going to get the reciprocal of the divisor, but we're going to use the cross multiplication. Just multiply 8 times 4, the answer is equal to 32. Then, 1 times 3, the answer is equal to 3. Then, just reduce 32 over 3 to its lowest term because it is an improper fraction. Just divide 32 divided by 3. 3 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 1. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Bring down 2. 2 divided by 3 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. 2 minus 0 is to 2. Okay, this 2, we're going to take this one as our numerator and this 3, we're going to take this one as our denominator. So, 30, 32 3, it is equal to 10 and 2 3. This is our final answer. Okay, another example. How about if we're going to multiply a fraction by a whole number? Okay, one half divided by four. Okay, we're going to put the denominator of one to our whole number. Then just multiply, cross multiply. One times one, the answer is equal to one. Two times four, the answer is equal to eight. So our answer is equal to one eight. Okay, this is number one example. And this is our number two. 